The Lord tells us in his word that can any man hide in secret places where I cannot see him? Everything is laid bare before him with whom we have to do. There is no one that can hide in secret places from God. We know that the book of Revelation tells us that the great men, the chief men, and the kings of the earth will hide themselves in caves and ask for the rocks to cover them and hide them from the one who sits on the throne. Um, I wanted to do some uh, scripture reading from Revelation chapter 16, showing this to you. And also, uh, I've been doing my research on websites. I actually happened to Google uh, mountain bunkers, and there are websites out there, if you Google this, that will bring up mountain bunkers that people are purchasing right now. Uh, the rich, the elite, the kings of the earth, and even if you happen to be a very rich family and can afford one of these places to reserve for yourself, they're uh, for sale right now. Uh, and they have whole websites dedicated to this. And one of the websites I wanted to bring to your attention that I found on my phone recently, uh, you can go to this website. It's called uh, terravivos.com. It's www.terravivos.com. And it says here, life assurance for a dangerous world. Um, secure your space in a Vivos underground survival shelter for virtually every catastrophe. And this has been advertised on the History Channel, CNN. It says, uh, be able to escape catastrophic, catastrophic events, Fox Business, um, uh, surviving the end of the world in style, CNBC, Forbes Magazine says buyers are drawn to Vivos for a variety of reasons. BBC News, Surviving Uncertain Times, NBC, Vivos the Swank, Life Assurance, uh, ABC, um, a growing number of Americans are preparing, and on and on and on. Top of the line luxury amenities, USA Today. So all these major news networks are advertising this Vivos underground bunker. And keep in mind, this is just one of many bunkers. Um, but again, the Lord says, is there any place that man can hide where I cannot see him? So. No, there isn't. And these great men of the earth are going to try and hide themselves in the caves um, of the earth. Let me see if I can bring this up and show you. To try and hide themselves from the coming of the Lord. And let me see if you can see this. So this is basically what this website looks like. This is what you're going to see when you sign on to this website. It's called Vivos. Uh, and it talks about, um, you know, survival. Enter Vivos here. Uh, Europa 1. Assurance Solution for High Net Worth Families. And I want to read to you here what this says. Uh, the last paragraph on this website says here, be ready for the predicted planetary alignment, doomsday, the rapture, the end times, or Armageddon. If you believe in the prophecies and predictions of the Bible, Nostradamus, the third secret of Fatima, the visions of Edgar Cayce, and all of the current signs of an economic collapse, future nuclear war, uh, war World War III, a pandemic, and it goes on and on and on. Uh, it says here, Fukushima's eventual meltdown and widespread global radiation, the coming pole shift and or major earth changes, it is time to prepare. They also have a section down here called a DNA vault, uh, where you can store your DNA. Uh, for future, for future need, if you need it, DNA vault. Um, it's just amazing that this is just one of many, one of many websites, actually. Let me see if I can get a wider view of this for you. Um, it's called Vivos Assurance for a Dangerous World. This is just one of many underground vaults that some of the kings of the earth will seek to go into and ask for the rocks to cover them and hide them from the Lord. And I wanted to read to us proof of this. Uh, from Revelation chapter 16, um, starting in verse 18. And there were voices and thunders and lightnings, and there was a great earthquake, such as was not since men were upon the earth. So apparently this earthquake that is coming is unlike any earthquake that has ever taken place before since men were on the earth. Okay. Uh, such as not was when men were upon the earth, so mighty an earthquake and so great. And the great city was divided into three parts, and the cities of the nations fell. That means bye-bye Manhattan, bye-bye London, bye-bye Paris. Every great city of the earth fell, it says here. Uh, and great Babylon, with a capital B, which I have always interpreted Mystery Babylon to be Rome, sitting on seven hills. And great Babylon came into remembrance before God. Uh, to give unto her the cup of the wine of the fierceness of his wrath. 
So her, again, represents a church. Mm -hmm. uh, and every island fled away, and the mountains were not found. Now, when I was going over these bunkers uh, with uh, my son, uh, Matt, this morning, we were talking about this and how the great men of the earth are already building these bunkers. They're already in place, uh, as Revelation 16 talks about, that the kings of the earth will go into. Um, the Lord immediately brought to my mind, these people are trying to get away from me, but every mountain will be destroyed. Every mountain will be leveled. It says here, they have no way of escape, and it doesn't matter how deep they go, it doesn't matter the elaborateness of these bunkers, God will uh, destroy these mountains, which means they'll probably collapse in on these people while they're hiding in the mountains. So it says here, um, and this, the city was divided into three parts, and the cities of the nations fell. So when this earthquake happens, no city that we know of today will be standing uh, Babylon came to God's remembrance to give unto her the cup of his wrath, and every island fled away, and the mountains were not found. And, of course, then it goes on in verse 21 to talk about the 100-pound um, hailstones that will be falling from heaven. But Revelation 16, um, verse uh, 20, specifically talks about uh, what is going to happen to the mountains after these men have decided to go into the caves and ask the rocks to hide them. But uh, the, these underground bunkers are already being established. Um, you can go and look at them on Google. Everything is set. I literally feel like I'm looking at the stage that is already set for all of these things to happen. We're at the door of the temple being built. Uh, these um, underground bunkers have been built. We're ready for the Pope slash man of sin to come in and create a covenant with many to um, coming from the city of Seven Hills. We're ready for this uh, UN New World Order agenda to start. The beast system with the economic system that's coming is at the door. I literally feel, guys, like we're at the door and God has been showing us these things and we need to stay awake and not let the cares of this world that can so easily distract us, Jesus said, distract us.